happy people i'm back with another video and today i'm going to show you all how i'm going to be organizing my travel nail tech kit <laughs> um i have been um doing press-ons for people locally here this kit is going to be what i take on the road with me when i apply my clients press-on nails and so i'm going to show you guys all the items that i put inside of my travel case so in case you guys missed it i did haul this in a recent tibu nail supply haul I'm going to go ahead and leave that link down in the description box below in case you guys want to see all the other goodies that I got. But as promised, I wanted to show you guys how I organized my traveling nail tech, nail tech kit bag. So let's get into it, okay? Yeah, I really like this design. It's matte black with like these really cool like shiny designs with these cool abstract lines and stuff through it. It's a really beautiful stylish bag. I like that it has a handle here. And when you open it up here at the top, it has these two sections here where you can put like a nail lamp, nail drill. Here at the top, you can put all type of things in here. Nail brushes, nail accessories, there's a zipper, you can put nail art tools in here. Like, yeah, I really, really like all the different compartments to it. Um, so that's the top section here. And then when you close this and open up the bottom here, Then you have space for you to put gel polishes in. And I think this one holds 30 or 40 gel polishes. This holds actually 30 gel polishes, you guys. So you can take your gel polishes with you on the go. And then over here, I love it. There's even more storage. So here, different compartments for nail art brushes. Here you open it up to store some more nail art tools, implements, things like that. So I really love this bag because you can really store and do a lot with it. It's pretty versatile. And this is kind of how tall it is, just so you can guys can get like an idea of the height of it. That's how tall it is. And this is how wide it is okay so just so you guys kind of have like an idea of measurements here but yeah and then if it was pretty flat kind of reminds me of uh, my old makeup bag so yeah i think this was a really great fine really great purchase and now i'm going to show you guys how i organize it so i'm gonna put this off to the side and show you guys how i have been traveling with my nail supplies okay this is currently how i've been traveling with all of my nail supplies for doing people's nails on the go and it's just a little kind of mini hard case here this was actually a gift to me it was supposed to be a traveling jewelry box but I ended up using it to store my nail supplies in if i can find um this on if i can find a link to this like online or something i'll go ahead and link it for you guys in case this might be a better option for others but i've since needed to kind of get i've since needed to upgrade to something a little bit bigger which is why i got this but let me show you guys what's in here okay so this is how i've been traveling with my supplies okay um I have a cuticle brush in here. I have a couple of nail art tools. Um, I have, this is just like a cleanup brush. This here is a brush. This is an old Kiss acrylic brush from like my first Kiss acrylic kit. And I just use this when I apply my client's press on nails with acrylic. Um, another cleanup brush, a cuticle pusher, like a plat, like a rubber one. Um, and then a gel brush which I just will plan to use as a cleanup brush, okay? I have a fluffy brush in here. I have my nail clippers, metal cuticle pusher. Over here I got some nail files, which I'll probably need to go ahead and upgrade. <laughs> um, some, um, some, these are kind of like doggy pads, um, but I cut them in half and I fold them up and this is what I use. I put them on the client, I put it on the table so that I don't make a mess when I'm doing my client's nails. So I have a few of these and all these products I'm talking about, I'll link, link them down in the description box below. So if you guys are interested in having it, you can as well. I have some debinder. I have a base coat and a top coat. And I normally travel with the mini size because, you know, with this tiny case, I couldn't travel with full size. I needed um, the least amount of space taken up as possible. I have a tiny dappin dish. I have a charger and this charger is for my portable nail drill again didn't have a lot of space um got my cuticle bits i'm sorry i got my my drill bits um i have here some nail art brushes liner brushes and then in here i have some lint free i have some lint free wipes in here i drop oh this is empty i have some lint free wipes i used to keep my extra drill bits or sanding bands in here but i since just started keeping it in here so i actually could toss this um these are just some lint free wipes i put inside of a little baggie again was just trying to save space in here and then i have like some um, alcohol wipes okay 
Um, and then last but not least, these are the main products that I use to actually do the nails. I have here some Daddy All Cuticle Oil. If y'all haven't used this, if y'all haven't used this, it's really amazing. It's very luxurious. Um, I have my Young Nails Protein Bond, another alcohol pad. This is, I travel with my clear acrylic. Um, this is the clear acrylic that I travel with. And then this is my little mini thing, a monomer. Again, a little goes a long way, so you don't need big containers. So that's why I travel with small mini ones. And then I have my sanding bands, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and organize all of this inside of here, okay? But yeah, can you guys believe I was able to fit all of this stuff inside of this little thing? Like, y'all gotta make y'all space work for you, okay? But yeah, and like I said, if I could find this, I'll go ahead and link this in the description box below. But yeah, let's get into put everything over here. So, uh, I wanna decide, I haven't decided which lamp I wanna take yet. I have two different lamps. Uh, so here's gonna be where I store my lamp and my nail drill. This lamp here, which is cordless and rechargeable, one of the reasons I got it was because it was cordless and rechargeable, so I feel like it'd be easier to take this on the road with me. But then I also have this nail lamp too, which I really love because it's just, it has a small footprint. It's from a Mifa kit that I reviewed. Um, and if you all wanna see like more details on this lamp, how it works and the kit that it came with, I will leave it down in the description box below. But I just love the footprint on this because it's so small and portable yet super powerful. Um, but it is a plug-in nail lamp. So let's see here. Let me try this one first because it's already out. And yeah, look how easily that fits in here. Yeah, that's a small footprint. So I don't know. I like the fact that this doesn't take up much space, but I'm gonna still try this other nail, uh, nail lamp just to see you know how much space it actually takes up so let's see here so taking this one out the box um and i do have a full review of this nail lamp as well i'll also leave that link down to the box below um but i got a really good deal on that lamp um, and you see this is nice too because it has a base um, decisions decisions you guys as you can see i've used it already um, I use this sometimes when I do press on nails, but let me um, let's see. I'm gonna put the base on here. I like the fact that it has a base and I like the fact that it's long. I have a couple clients that have extra, extra long nails. Um, yeah, let me just see. Let's see how this fits in here. Okay, it does fit for sure. Okay, I wonder if it's still charged. I doubt it. Hmm. It does fit, which is nice, <sighs> but I think it's taking up more space than what I wanted to. So for now, I think I'm gonna just go with the smaller lamp. Yeah, I'm gonna just go with the smaller lamp for now. Now it is still charged too. I mean that 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 cordless part though. Uh, uh, we'll see you guys. I might end up changing my mind later and and putting my uh, putting this back in here. But for now. I'm gonna go ahead and just go with my Mifa lamp. I just like the small footprint on it, you guys. And she can still get her long nails cured, yeah. I just have a feeling with my clients, they probably just gonna end up going all the way out. Hmm, we'll see, we'll see. For now, I'm gonna just keep this in here, okay? And put the cord underneath here. And do this like that, okay? No? Y'all can't make up my mind. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the other one. It just makes more sense to have a cordless rechargeable lamp with me. Like, it just makes more sense. So I'm gonna go ahead and have this in my traveling nail kit, like so. And then I'm gonna put the, the cord, the charging port for it in here. So that is that. And in regards to nail drills, I have a couple of different options. I do have this cordless nail drill here that I could put in here and that be all I need as far as nail drills are concerned. But I really like having these handy for when I um, am doing my nails here at home. This here is my full size nail drill. This is a nail drill that I use like all the time. It was my first official nail drill and I could put it in here like this. I just feel like it's taking up a lot of space, you guys. But that, that could be okay though. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this, this little shelf back in here to kind of protect my, um, nail lamp and then I'll go ahead and put the um and I'll go ahead and put my nail drill in here like this. I do have a full review on this nail drill as well. This is the Stephanie drill from McCart. I absolutely love it. Use it all the time. So I can put this in here like that. And then 
So that's it for the top part here. I'm gonna close this for now. And the other thing I really like about this bag too is that when you open it here at the bottom, it has all these items for nail tools, nail brushes, things like that. And then it also has like this spot for being able to store um, nail polishes. Now, I don't anticipate traveling with a whole lot of nail polishes. So I think I'm gonna actually go ahead and take this part out for now. Who knows, that might change later. And I think I'm gonna try to put my nail lamp down here. Let me see how that works. I'll take this out. Okay, I'm gonna put my nail lamp down here. Okay, yeah, I think I like that situation better because then it still gives me all this space to do what I need to do with. Okay, so that, I like that better actually. And so then I'm gonna go ahead and still section this off. I'm gonna put my nail drill in here. I guess I'll store it like this maybe. That's not the best way to store it. Um, sideways, I don't know. Yeah, I guess I'll just put it like this. Okay. And then I'll go ahead and section this off like that. Okay, that's cool. I can do it. Okay, cool. And then just other knickknacks that I'm going to keep inside of here is I have this uh, apron here. It's from Enel Couture. And I want to go ahead and make sure I travel with that. So I'm going to keep that in here. Fold it again. Yeah, I'll fold it again. I'll keep that in here. Um, I also have this um, this uh, nail storage container. I actually really like this. I got this from Daiso. Um, I think I hauled it. If I did, I'll link the video. But I like this because I could store like a couple different nail charms and rhinestones and such. Down here, I could store like maybe some of my. Oh, this. Okay, the shelf comes off. And at the bottom, I can store maybe some implements and things like that. I can store like gel paints or um, different implements, um, maybe even potted gels and things here at the bottom if I needed it, builder gel, etc. And so I'm gonna go ahead and keep that in here as well. Um, I don't have anything just yet that I need to take with me, um, but I'm sure I will at some point. So got my nail drill, got my nail lamp at the bottom, got an apron. Now I do have this, and I, this is just from like another random nail kit. I like this because if I travel with my gel polishes, this could keep it safe and secure as opposed to as opposed to with this, and it takes up a lot of space. So I'm gonna just travel with this for now. I'm gonna do a quick little intermission here. So this is where we left off, and I did go ahead and put my um, nail lamp here at the bottom. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and put my apron right here as well, just cause it's a little bit flatter, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and zip that up and that's what's everything at the bottom compartment, okay? And then like I said, here at the top, um, I can actually store some full size gel polishes in here. Okay, so I did have this, but I don't know why, but there's like some little small like black floaties in here. I think it just came off of the lid, but it's not something that I feel comfortable traveling around with using on clients. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this off to the side. It's kind of ran its course. And I do have this one here. It's a primer. It's a dehydrator and primer from Cyberland. I'm just gonna go ahead and put that in here um, just so that I have it like, you know, a nice fresh one. Um, I'm still going to keep my protein bond in here, you guys. This protein bond is liquid gold. And so I'm still going to carry and travel with that because it's really good stuff. And then I also still have here my Melody Susie um, base and top coat. I don't really need full sizes because, again, a lot of the clients' nails that I do, it's pre made press on nails and I'm just applying them with acrylic. So I don't really need, you know, a lot of different colors and things like that. Um, and I guess I'll go ahead and put my monomer here, you know. So I don't know if you guys can see everything here. So, so here I just have my dehydrator primer. Um, well, I don't really need this one from Cyberland. I don't see myself using it. I don't really see myself using it. I'll keep it here for now just because. But I'm, I know I'm going to reach for my young nails. So yeah, base coat, top coat, and then my monomer. Um, can this fit in here? Yeah, let me go ahead and take this out. I don't think I'm going to use this primer. So I'm going to take this primer out and I'm going to do my, my protein bond, base coat, top coat, monomer, and then that's my acrylic that I'll be using to apply on my client's nails. So I feel pretty good about that. I'm going to actually flip this around. Like so. 
Okay, that's perfect. So that's just all of my like nail polishes and such. And then on top of my nail drill, I'm just gonna go ahead and keep my um Yeah, okay. And then also in this compartment, I'm just gonna go ahead and keep my drill bits in here. Um, and I think I'm gonna go ahead, uh, yeah, on top of my nail drill, I'm gonna just keep this little case and this is gonna be what I store, charms, embellishments, things like that. Haven't decided just yet what I'm gonna take with me, but I'll leave that there. And then um, also have, oh, here's my uh, Doggy Pass dental bibs. I'm gonna go ahead and put that right there as well. Those are definitely important to have. And hmm, I got this portable nail drill. I'm debating if I want to keep it in her or not. I mean, I have my full size nail drill, so I really don't need this. Um, but I guess maybe I'll put it in here just to have it as a backup. Um, what else here? I got a lot of nail art tools. So also at the top here, so, so these are the press-on nails that my client chose. I got some neon orange and then some all red. So these are what I, she hasn't decided which one she wants me to apply yet, but whichever one she decides to apply, then I'll go ahead and apply it with my press on. I'll go ahead and apply it with the acrylic. And so I'm going to just go ahead and put my press on nails here that I'll be um, applying to my client over here. And then let's see over here, you guys, I guess this is where I'll put the rest of my nail tools at. So here are my liner brushes. So I'll just put my liner brush here. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and put my files right here, like so. Um, I got a fluffy brush I'll put right here. This is another brush I'll put here. I'm gonna go ahead and put my fingernail clipper right here. Okay, just have it kind of hanging off there. Um, this here is more is extra drill drill bit pieces. I'm gonna just put it right here. My alcohol swabs and lint-free wipes, I think I'm going to just store it in this zipper compartment up here. Let me take this out. I'm going to just store it up in here. Like so. And then the lint-free wipes, put that in there here as well. I'm also going to go ahead and throw my charger in there as well. Um, and actually, I think I am going to go ahead and keep this drill in here so I'll probably just go ahead and put that drill right here also <laughs> yeah you can fit a lot in here can't you okay and then y'all yeah, go ahead and put this fluffy brush right here and then oops and then this other brush kit right here and yeah y'all I think that's everything oh wait now here's a few more brushes here okay so I'm gonna go ahead and put all of these well Let's see, you guys. I don't know. Let me go ahead and open up the bottom. Because I'm trying to have it to where all I really need to do is open up the top. Yeah, let me take all this stuff out. We're going we to redo this. We're going to redo this. Let's take all this out. Okay. And then I want to see what's happening at the bottom here. So you guys know at the bottom, right, we also have all of this storage here and I think that's actually going to make more sense to have oops oh <laughs> all my stuff just fell out okay y'all let me let me let me let me let me just take everything out here and read and read because I think those nail tools and stuff because all this stuff up here I can actually take out once I get to my client's house you know and have it on their table and then what I can do is just have this part open with my nail lamp and working. So I could take my nail lamp out here and have this part just kind of open while I'm working on their nails. So actually I'm going to organize everything in here. Okay, so I'm going to put tools here. Let's see. And some of these, I'm going to, I am going to upgrade these items too. I'm just going to do this for the video purposes. The files I'm going to keep up top though. Files I'll keep up top. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, 
Okay, so so these are my nail art brushes. So I'm gonna keep that here for sure. And I'm gonna keep the fluffy brush here. Okay. I'm gonna keep my nail clippers right here. And I'm gonna keep cleanup brushes here. Hold on, I'm gonna keep my fluffy brush here with that. And I'm gonna keep all of my cleanup brushes here. Like so. Well, actually, so these I haven't used just yet. I'm gonna go ahead and actually put these right over here and keep them handy for when I do decide to travel and do my nail art, okay? And then I'll keep this here. I'll keep, um, how do I wanna do this? Okay, I'll keep my fluffy brush here in the middle. And I'll keep these cleanup brushes here on the side. And then my acrylic applicator brush I'll keep right here. Okay, I'm pretty happy with this. So, that's good. And then I'll also go ahead and just put my alcohol wipes. No, actually, I'm going to go ahead and put this at the top since I don't really use it much. I'm going to put that at the top. And I'll go ahead and put my alcohol wipes here. Because like I said, when I get to my client's house, I just want to open up the top, take out what I need, and then open this part up. And this will be what's exposed while I'm doing their nails. I'll take out my apron, put it on. I'll take out the nail lamp. And um, take out my apron, put it on, take out the nail lamp, and have it handy and available. And then all the rest of this stuff could just be easily accessible. So these are my lint-free wipes. Put that in there. Put the rest of my alcohol pads in here like so. Zip that up. And yeah, that's perfect. Okay, cool. So yeah, so that's so this is the bottom part, okay? So we got our alcohol wipes, all of our nail tools, brushes, implements, etc. I got my apron and my recharge of cordless rechargeable nail lamp, okay? So that's the bottom. So we're gonna go ahead and close that up. That's all ready to go. Okay, we'll close that up. Okay, that's perfect. And then here at the top, like I said, this is gonna be when I get to their house, I'll just take out what I need and zip this part up and close it. So this would be the stuff I don't really use all that that much. So, um, okay, so then I'm gonna go ahead and put my nail drill back in here. I'm gonna put my nail drill back in here. And you guys, when you travel with your nail drill, don't travel with the actual drill bit piece in there. Nail drills come with like this little holder piece. You'll want to take that and put it in here, and that's just to protect your nail drill during travel, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in here. And so my nail drill will be here. I have my storage box for bling implements and such, and then I'll have their nails on top. And over here, I will have I'm gonna take this out again. And this is something I'll have to take out when I get to their house as well. And then I'll just have this little piece handy and available to me. But again, we have the dehydrator. We'll have the primer. So you need to dehydrate dehydrate uh, your dehydrate. I can't even talk. You'll dehydrate their nails first. Then you'll put on primer. Um, base and top coat if you're doing an actual gel mani. So it's base coat, top coat. And now that I'm thinking about it, I actually just found this from another like gel polish kit that I have. I think I would prefer to have this in here instead of this long strip. So I'm actually going to just take this and put it in here. Maybe I'll store it this way. Yeah, that, that makes more sense for me. So again, I'll put in my dehydrator. Like so. Dehydrator, primer, base and top coat. And then this is my acrylic powder. And then this is my monomer. So that's perfect. So I'll travel with that. And then I have my, my drill bits. I'll store that right here. Um, additional drill bits, I'll put that right here. And at the top part here, I am going to store the nail files because again these are things as soon as I get there I'm gonna take them out so I don't really need to have it at the bottom so these nail art brushes don't really need to have them super accessible so I'll go ahead and put them right here nail drill this is a backup one don't need it easily accessible put it here along with the charger for it and then at the top I'll keep my manicure brush up here okay I'll keep it right here and then I'll keep my drill, I mean, I'll keep my sanding and my files here. 
Okay, like so. Um, the cuticle oil, I forgot about that. We'll put that up in here as well to find a spot for it. And then the dental bibs, right, that'll go on the table. Um, and I think that's it, you guys. Well, actually, I have actual dental bibs. Let me put those in here. Okay, you guys, I just thought about it. I have actual dental bibs, right? So instead of bringing these with me, I'm just going to store my dental bibs right here. Um, maybe I'll go ahead and leave this like that. I'm going to store my dental bibs like this. Let me, actually, let me put it over here in this corner. So I'll go ahead and store my dental bibs there. Okay. And then, I don't know where to put my daddy oil at, y'all. Hmm. And yeah, I'll just put my cuticle oil there like that. And yeah, y'all, that's everything. So that's what's in this section here. So again, we got the nail drill. We got a little bling box. We got our dental bibs, all of our essentials, dehydrator, primer, base top coat, monomer, and my acrylic. And then we got the press on nails for my client. Up top here, we have the nail files. We have a backup. Um, let me open this up. Put this over here. So over here we have the nail files. I'm actually put the nail files over here. Okay. And then in here we have a backup nail drill just in case that has this charger and some additional nail art brushes. Okay. So I think that's all I actually need with me um, when I travel to do my clients' nails. Put this here as well. Oh, and a dappin dish, you guys, and a dappin dish. I'm gonna actually keep my dappin dish right there. I just put my dappin dish right here. And actually, I'll go ahead and put my my daddy oil. I'll put my cuticle oil inside my dappin dish. There we go. So now it has a place. And yeah, y'all, that is everything. So that is everything that I'm gonna take with me when I travel to do my clients' nails. And I love the footprint on this. It takes up absolutely no space. In here, I got a nail drill, I got a lamp, cartilage rechargeable lamp, all of my nail essentials, everything I need to do with my client's nails. So I'm very happy to have this. I absolutely love this item. Again, I am gonna leave a link down in the description box below in case you guys wanna get your hands on it. I did see that this is also available on Amazon, so I'll leave it. So I'll leave the Amazon link for it down in the description box below as well. But y'all, everything is in here nail lamp nail drill everything everything so yeah i hope you all enjoyed the video let me know do you all travel and do nails and if so what do you take with you am i missing anything i do have a discount code with timu i'll leave it here on the screen as well as in the description box below along with my original haul so i do upload every tuesday thursday and saturday if you all like what you saw here definitely stick around join the happy family i'd love to have you and as always you guys Leave some love in the comments down below, and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye!